I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I fail so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me Actually, I got a few videos I'm doing today. I'm trying to jam them all out while the kids are at school. If you can't hear, Victor is anxiously chewing on a bone. Um, he's gotten better with the whining, but he still has like a lot of anxiety when the kids are gone and not where he can see them, which I understand. It's probably because of me he's like that. <laughs> but anyways, I have a Paradise Fiber, Fiber Club subscription to open. And this time it's in a black bag and it says, I'm so happy to see you. So this is for September. And September has been a rough month because I swear as soon as the kids went back to school, like two, three days later, I was so sick. I'm still kind of like, I'm better, but like not. There's a lot. Kids are like petri dishes. <laughs> okay. It says Paradise Fibers Fiber Club September 2023 Back to Basics A Breed Study. Oh, so it's like a school type thing. Okay. It says our showcase pattern this month is Lisa McFatridge Snow Sheep Cowl. A lovely cowl done in stranded color work with worsted weight yarn check out our fiber club exclusive website for more information and some breed study worksheets to print and fill out as you spin um and then it says tired of loose ends and long tails try a wonder clip tame loose ends and change color tails by wrapping them around a wonder clip and clip them to your project so there's the cowl it's super cute and then these are the wonder clips that they're talking about. Those are interesting. Okay. The Icelandic sheep is an ancient breed with beautiful dual coated fleece. They have a coarser outer coat called Tog and a softer inner coat named Thiel. Have no idea if I pronounced those right, but that's what I'm going with. And there's the Icelandic sheep. Um... Brenda Bear, if you guys know who Bears Crocheted Critters is, um, she's actually making a little amigurumi Icelandic sheep with um, Icelandic wool she spun, which is really cool. Um, Shropshire? Shropshire? Go with Shropshire. Sheep are a hardy and productive breed. According to the Shropshire Breed Standard website, they eat the grass and shrubs and orchards while leaving the trees alone. And they produce both meat and wool. Mm, that's those. They're too cute to eat. Um, the Scandinavian mountain sheep is another ancient breed. The wool in your bag is stricken, meaning it is naturally white with occasionally dark fibers in it. Mm, that's that one right there. Oh, he's so cute. They all look super cute. Polyworth. I think that's how you say it. Uh, sheep were bred in Australia from Lincoln and Merino sheep. This breed is more hardy than Merino sheep while still having the incredibly soft wool. Oh, look how fluffy they are. They're super fluffy. Okay, and then it tells me what I'm getting in the bag. Uh, a merino sheep raised in the Falkland Islands. Raising sheep is a huge part of the islands community. Right there. Where's that one? A small black sheep bred in Scotland. The Herberdeen. Herberdeen? Uh, sheep has been around since the Iron Age and sometimes grows two pairs of horns. The wool has white flecks throughout. That's cool. 
those two pairs of horns. A breed from Tasmania, the Coromo is a mix of Merino and Cordell. Their wool is both long and incredibly soft. That's them. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, and it says what I'm supposed to be getting. I hope stuff is... Oh, it's just like a hole. So I'm guessing I'm getting a literally like a breed study. So that's all of them but they don't have them marked. So I have no idea which is which, <sighs> which is not cool. I'm guessing that's gonna be from the dark sheep. Hmm. I don't know how they expect you to know. They said, be knowledgeable. And I'm like, but I'm not. Oh, fun, fun time. Okay, so that is empty. Let's see here if I can figure. Okay, so maybe it's color-coded by the bag. Let's see. Okay, I can do this. This is a black bag, so it's Chromo, C-O-R-M-O. This is the one that is a mix of Merino and Cordell. And it's from Tasmania. Or Tasmania. It's soft. Whew. Definitely smells like a sheepy sheep. Okay. So. If this is bright. I should have color matched each one. This one is orange. This is supposed to be the her bright bright Briadine. Propriety? Oh, this is definitely not as soft, but it's a pretty brown color. This is the one from Scotland um, that grows two horns. So, nope, I'm wrong. Wait, yes, I'm right. Am I doing it right? I don't know. Yes. Okay, so they did kind of tell you. Okay, so they gave each one of these as color coordinated to the bags. And then if I would have actually looked, it says the bag right there. So, you know, if I would just pay attention and read more, right? So that is going to be kind of fun to see how all of them feel. Um... and find out which one I like to spend more than the others. And then you got a 10. And let's see. So yep, they gave you some of those wonder clips that they were talking about. What I get like three of them? And then I got like a shawl pin. And then, oh, that's cute. Oops. A little lamb stitch marker and a stash tea of coconut and mango. And if it's really got coconut, I'm not gonna be able to eat or drink it. I think it does. <laughs> and a sweet honeydew. Aw, the sticker's super cute. It's a sheepy. So that was my September Fiber Club. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to uh, spin them up and see what I think. Alright, I'm going to let you guys go because I am going to start another video. <laughs> um, as soon as I get my stuff picked up. All right. I'll see you guys later.